are here for the first time tonight, raise your hand. We're glad that you're here. We're better off with you than without you. So we're glad that you're here. That's tremendous. Um, we got a real quick announcement here. Hey, hey. Good to see you guys. Nice to be back. Um, just so that you know, um, over the last two weeks, we've been announcing um, that on Saturday, we're starting a day wall again for those that are participating in the day wall. We'll be starting again um, this time um, inviting new people to join. Um, it's Saturday, starting this Saturday, June 7th, in the Shrewsbury um, Church um, at Liberty. It is from 11 to 12.30. It's an opportunity for you to learn the steps. Uh, for those that have not done the steps, if you want to sign up, see me today. We're making this announcement on a regular basis. But we are starting to on those that have done the steps, but have not done a formal fourth step, and would like to do the fourth step, you can also sign up and join the class that's graduating into the fourth step. We're making this announcement on a regular basis, but starting this Saturday, for those that want to join, we have 10 people that are uh, starting step one. It's a good way to get active, good way to learn the steps, and a good way to stay sober with a bunch of um, other people that are trying to get this. So see me um, during the break or immediately after, before you leave, uh, and sign up to join us. Uh, and your life will not be the same if you do the 12 steps. The elevator is broken. The only way to go are the steps, folks. There you go. All right. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I want you to know, I guess, the Lord told me to take a month off. It was really cool because I was talking to God. I was, at that time, working uh, two jobs. I was doing counseling at Passages. And, uh, and then I was easing into a new job, becoming the, the new graduate of detox at Community Health Link. So, so uh, yeah. Doing this, and I'm saying, Lord, I feel a little bit tired. <laughs> and um, and I said, I just need to take a little break. And then Rick Kaminsky, one of the ministers here at the church, texted me and said, God told me to tell you to take the month of May off. So I did. But I'm back. Yeah. Welcome home. Yeah. Welcome home. You know, I want to ask you something. Have you ever had a struggle getting your yes and your nose all mixed up? No. Anyone have trouble saying no? You know? Okay. Want a little something, something? <laughs> I want to say no, but yes. Well, what we need to do is we need to learn how to say no. No! <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could just take one of these around with us, right? And just push the button. You're pushing my button? No, I mean, you're really, really... Push my butt. No. You didn't like that one as good, did you? Yeah. How about this one? No. How about this one? No. 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 You're right. Did you like that one? Uh, yeah. How about this one? No. <laughs> That's pretty good, wasn't it? Come on, you guys back there in the cheap seats, man. You gotta loosen up a little bit. You can smile. Wow. Look. Kill me with a capital K. So what I'm going with it is, we need to really learn how to say no. We need to learn how to say no when situations find us. When someone says, hey, I got a little nip here, I got a little chip here, I got a little rock here, I got a little dust here, I got a little bag here. We need to say no. So when you say, on the, on the count of three, say no like you can. One, two, three. No. That's pretty good. Kind of surprised me. Let's do it again. One, two, three. No! Oh, that's really good. Now, I don't know if you know this, but some of you do. 21 times it takes to say or do something for it to become a part of you, a habit, a good habit. Seven times not doing something right to lose a habit, one time to pick up a habit. Anyone know anything about that one time by chance? Okay. So I think we're all together on this, right? It could be a habit of stealing, lying, cheating, using, drinking. It could be sex, it could be anything, right? Just, you know, just not thinking through. We need to get to STDs. We need to learn how to stop thinking to stop. Are you with me on that? 
So if we're going to say no, we need to stop it, we need to think, and we need to decide. Let's practice that no one more time. One, two, three. No! Okay, now, what I want to talk to you about tonight is this. No. Something that I really learned about just lately is to make a yes have meaning behind it, I have to say no to something. Did you get that? For my yes to have any clarity, any purpose, any meaning before it, behind it, to have any power in it, I need to say no. One, two, three. No! Okay, so we're getting there. So what I'm going with it is, no is really important. A solid no is saying yes to the right stuff and no to the wrong stuff. Do you agree with me on that? Amen. Now, we were just talking about that earlier. I was talking about this earlier with someone, and she was telling her children, no. No, I can't do that because I'm clean and sober. No, I won't be your, your taxi because I, I am now independent. I can make decisions for myself. I'm not going to be shoved around. I'm not going to be manipulated. I'm not going to be coerced. I'm saying no. So we need to learn how to say no and mean the no to say to mean no. You agree with me on that, right? Now, I don't know about you, but as a person in recovery, I don't like to hear a no. I've got this need for instant gratification. Right? You do too. It means I'm going to come up and expect you to say no, but I'm going to wear you out and wear you down till you say yes. And that's how the devil works. The Bible says that the devil, his native language is lying. His whole mission is to kill, steal, and destroy. And what he wants us to do is to say yes to him and no to God. Caught you off guard there, didn't I? Yeah. So we need to learn to say no. Here, I got something for you. William James, the father of American psychology, said this. Tell him to live by yes and no. Yes to everything good and no to everything bad. The sad part as addicts in recovery is we're used to saying yes to the bad things and no to the good things. Are you with me on this? I mean, are you out there? No. You're not, are you? My oh, goodness gracious. And where I'm going with it is, is in the fact that when we say no to the things of this world, we're saying yes to God, and in essence, God's language to a yes is saying amen. Amen. That word amen means so be it. It's a strong yes. I am saying yes. I'm standing on it. I'm going to stand on the promises of God. I am believing that no matter what comes my way, how bad it can get, I'm saying yes to God and no to the drugs, to the lifestyle, to the devil, to the world, and to my flesh. Amen. I am enemy number one. Do you know anything about being your own enemy? Yeah, and it usually starts up here. Exactly. <laughs> a change in essence boils down to saying no to what you don't want and yes to what you do want. Do you really want the things of God? Do you really want a spiritual awakening? Do you really want to stay clean and sober? If so, you're going to have to say yes to God and no to the world, to the flesh, and to the devil. I like what it says in 2 Corinthians 1.20. It says, all the promises of God in Him are yes and yes and amen. Unto the glory of God by us. Do you not understand that God has incredible promises for you that will only come by you saying no to the flesh, the world, and the devil, and saying yes to God by saying yes or amen. A yes to God is a positive affirmation. He likes to hear a positive affirmation as well as you do. I don't know about you, but I like it when people say, Jeff, I really appreciate you. Jeff, that was really good. Thank you for helping. Jeff, I'm so glad to see you back. Makes me feel special. And God likes to hear us say a strong yes or an amen to the things that he's offering us through the promises. Why? Does anyone not want to go to heaven? Yes or no? That's a no. Right? Are you follow me on this? I mean, does anyone want to burn in hell? No. no. There you go. <laughs> now we're making the no count, right? Does anybody want to have the worms and the flames up your behind and suffer for all eternity? No. No. 
How many of you want to rest in Christ and serve Christ beyond here? Yes. 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 And that only comes with a spiritual awakening. We know about spiritual awakenings. A spiritual awakening is when you finally say, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired of trying to do this on, on anymore. I've got to say no so that my yes comes for something. And then God will intervene in my life and make a difference in who I am and who I am to become. But we get a no, sir, our yes is all mixed up. Have you ever gone out with somebody knowing that they weren't a good person to be with and you said yes and you should have said no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone have that experience? Mm -hmm. Have you ever said yes to a no and you knew that no was going to be a really bad no and you knew you were going to suffer a whole lot by what you're about ready to do? Don't you hate it when you're saying yes to a no opportunity? When you should be saying no? And then we go, why, God, are you punishing me? Why are you making me suffer? What's up with you, God? And God is saying, no, what's up with you? Amen. Why aren't you saying no to the things you need to say no to and yes to the things you need to say yes to? i got to tell you, I'm probably one of the worst at it. I've been guilty of saying yes to the no, no opportunities and saying no to the yes opportunities. How about you? Yes, ma'am. I mean, that's really where it's at. I'm glad to see you. I miss you. I love you, too. And what I'm saying is, if you really want to have a spiritual awakening, then it means when you want to say no to God, you say yes. And then you experience His promises and His blessings in your life. But boy, we are just out of our I'm stubborn. How about you? Mm -hmm. I've already put a little bow on it, so hang in there with me. I have to go on and on and on. But I, I mean, I have a whole mouth worth in me right now. But, but don't, don't worry, I'm not going to give it to you all in one shot. <laughs> now, this is where I'm going with it. Another way to say yes to Jesus or yes to God is saying amen. Amen. That means I'm putting my soul on it. I'm putting my whole being into it. I'm going to trust you, God, for the promises that you have for me. I'm going to say no to the flesh, no to the bad, the corruption in my life, to the spirit thinking that I've been used to having. I'm going to say no to the old ways of living. I'm going to say yes or amen to what God wants for me. Tell them how. So here's how. Honest, open-minded, and willing. And here it is. Yes, yes you're right. Comes from the how. Now, honesty, open-mindedness, willingness. Honesty is saying, boy, I've been saying, I've been getting my yeses and my noes all mixed up. I need to turn my yeses into noes and my noes into yeses. That's being honest, isn't it? I need to be open-minded. Already some people go, oh, this is too spiritual for me. Well, you're not all that open-minded. You don't understand, I'm pretty liberal in my thinking. Well, you know, you're pretty narrow in your thinking. If you really open up your mind and have the mind of Christ and say, hey, come into my mind, because we all know we don't have a drinking problem, we don't have a drug problem, we don't have a thinking problem, then we say, Lord, give me your mind, give me your thoughts, and God starts talking to you, then all of a sudden it's going to be a lot easier to say no to the things you need to say no to and yes to the things you need to say yes to. And when you do that, you can say amen. Now, here's the bow. Saturday, I was down there in downtown with Richie. He called me up and said, Jeff, I need to get someone in the detox. I said, I'll be right down. So I went down. This guy was broken. Tried to get him in the CHL where I work. and couldn't get him in because he had the wrong insurance. In the meantime, I had three other phone calls of people needing help. People were desperate. They needed help. Have you ever been there where you're so desperate you just take any kind of help you can get? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Finally, they were saying, no, I'm tired of living the old way. Yes, I'm willing to try something new. Or yes, I'll go back to where I need to go back to to be begin my life all over again. And really, that's why I do every day. And that's what we as Christians, let alone 
Christian children, so what you need to do is go back to the beginning every day and say, Lord, I can't do this without you, but with you, I will. I'm going to say no to the drugs, the alcohol, the lifestyle, to him or her, to the boredom, to my pride, to my arrogance. I'm going to humble myself with the H-O-W, with the honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness. I'm going to develop a positive attitude because if I focus my focus upon you, I'm going to say yes to you and no to what's going to take me down. So this is the big question. Are you getting your yeses and your noes mixed up? Now here's something really crazy. You ready for something crazy? Crazy. When God invades us with a spiritual awakening, it's kind of like you like it, but you don't. You like it because God's showing up doing something special for you, but you the flesh is resisting it because it means God's about ready to change you. Amen. He's about ready to transform you into the person you've meant to be with sobriety and a spiritual connection with Him. And when you allow Him to invade your space and your whole being, you'll know how to say no and you'll know how to say yes. Right? So here it is. We need to say <laughs> and we need to learn to say yes to God. You'd agree with me on that, right? Yeah. And so if we do that, then the spiritual awakenings come. The encounters with God become an honor, go from maybe one or two times a month to one or two times a week to then every day. And then when that happens, your no will be a no and your yes a yes and your amen and amen. The word amen is God's language meaning so be it. It's done. It's finished. Isn't that what Jesus said when he was on the cross? It is finished. His last words. If it wasn't for his death, burial, and resurrection, there would be no sobriety, no savior, no hope, no promises to say yes to. Here's the coffee. Here's, a, here's the cream of the coffee, okay? No cream of the coffee. So this is my question for you. What did God be saying to you through this little teaching tonight? This is the challenge God's laid on me for last month, and I've not liked it, but he's been really challenging me. To be willing to surrender so much that the things I think I need to say yes to, I would check in with them to make, with God, check in with God to make sure that it's really a yes. And if it's not, to say no. I don't like that. How about you? But if you want to go deep and wide in your sobriety, then get a spiritual connection with God. You say no to the things that will take you out. Say yes to God that will lift you up. Amen. So here, we're, we're accustomed to going one, two, three, go with God. Right? So let's hear it. One, two, three, go with God. One more time. One, two, three, go with God. You don't mean it. One, two, three, go with God. That's a lot better. I guarantee you, if you go with God, you say no to what you need to say no to, and yes to who you need to say yes to. Amen. Let's close it. Lord, we love you. We thank you that you never said no to us. You've always said yes. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us the very best for Christ Jesus to save you. And I want to thank you, Lord, that when we're connected to you, when we're trusting you with our lives, that you can help clarify our yes and our no's, as well as our ability to say amen. So be it. I'm doing it your way, not mine. I ask not only for myself, Lord, but for all of us in this room, that you would strengthen our connection with you. So that way when those 
times come when the devil, the flesh of the world, comes knocking on our door and offers us something that takes us away from you and those that we love, especially from ourselves, that we would say no and we would say yes to you. I ask that you would help us learn how to say no to the things that would harm us, destroy us, and leave us empty, and that we would say yes to you so you can fill us up with the truth, with the promises, with security, and safety to know without a shadow of a doubt that you're with us, you'll never leave us, you'll never forsake us, you will always help us now. And so, Lord, we give you all the praise, we give you all the thanks for being such an incredible God. We praise you and we thank you that we can say yes to you and no to the things of this world so we are not corrupted anymore. We thank you that when we say yes to you, Lord, and no to this world, we're saying, I have victory in Christ. I will not pick up. I will not use. I will not drink. I will say no. I will, I will say amen. I will say oh, so be it. I will trust you to give me deliverance when I cannot do it on my own. So tonight, Lord, we together... It meant that we were totally powerless over people, places, and things, over the drugs, alcohol, over any and every addiction, that our lives have become unmanageable. And so, Lord, we're recognizing that by that truth that we really need you. We come to believe in the power greater than ourselves to restore us to sanity, Lord, because this is damn insane. We need some help, Jesus. We're asking you to take away the insanity and the condemnation that comes from this lifestyle and to give us new freedom. And we yield and we give our will and our lives over to you as we understand you to be. We cannot do this without you. And so, Holy Spirit, I welcome you here tonight. I thank you that you are here to touch us, to make a difference in our lives. And I ask, Lord, that when we leave this place, we'll be stronger because we're saying no to the things we need to say no to and yes to you. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help me. Liberate us. Lead us. Help us to become tenacious. Help us to yield and to surrender and trust you to change us from the inside out. So our no's mean no and our yeses mean yes and our amen means amen. And that we can rise up with confidence that we've never ever had in ourselves and anyone else know that we can make it. So right now I come against the wiles of the devil. I come against the, the influences of this world and the flesh. I come against it in the name of Jesus. And I ask you, Jesus, to show up tonight, to warm our hearts, to love on us, to help us, to be able to see yes and no, and live by those yeses and those no's. For your glory and for our well-being. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, it's great to be back with you.